Hello, my name is Oliver Gnabwin. Uh, this is the Shed Restaurant. And my role here is to create all the menus, um, buying the food, the produce from my younger brother in Sussex and the surrounding farms down there. Uh, filling my fridges up at the beginning of every week uh, and creating recipes and different dishes from what I have uh, to hand, uh, which is often quite spontaneous and, and pretty good fun. Um, I get inspired uh, by seasonal produce, whatever's new, whatever's fresh and uh, forageable out there and from the land. Um, I get inspired from cookbooks, um, watching other people cook, um, and inspiring through uh, trying to match it with different wines and um, through the whole nature of uh, the hospitality, there, there's inspiration everywhere. Really. I became a chef, um, actually I became a cook really first uh, by um, living at home uh, in Sussex on a vineyard with my parents uh, who are both professional chefs uh, and then obviously living on the vineyard allowed um, the majority of time to be spent tasting and drinking good wine. Uh, while complementing that with great food. And I think uh, over time, uh, and especially in my youthful years, I just learned or took the time to learn um, a good palate and understanding different flavors of food and marriaging um, that food together. Uh, and I think that that time spent doing so um, set me a good basis to become a chef that can taste and, and make spontaneous different dishes um, just through my palate. I didn't um, get any qualifications until I went uh, to Leith's cooking school, which I did a six month uh, diploma and um, eventually left with a wine and food diploma. Um, but I was working part time at a catering company while doing that, so it never actually took me out of the game. Uh, so the shed, um, my baby and my older brother's baby, uh, began its birth on a little skiing holiday uh, about two years ago now, um, where we decided and discussed over time, we went out there to discuss uh, what we would like to achieve from this restaurant and how uh, the style is going to be created. And, over lots of beers on, on the mountainside and uh, falls in the, in the snow, um, we came up with a pretty strong concept of obviously the farm to the, the restaurant and to um, the maitre d', that brother link was always going to be there. So we had to come up with the rustic vibe that allows any range of guests to come into the shed um, and feel comfortable about eating here. Uh, and we had to come up with a concept that that would fit in with. Uh, and I think uh, with the slow and the fast cooking side that you will see on my menu, um, that helped that happen out on the skiing holiday when we did a prediction of how many guests we might get in every week and, and how many how much they might pay per head and worked it out that actually is this feasible to open a restaurant in this part of town with such a rent on our heads and um, with the staff costing and everything that comes into running a restaurant is it feasible to do uh, between uh, us brothers with the skills we have and we came up with the fact that yes it was and thankfully it has come around to be a success. We do fill up our little restaurant here every night. Uh, and we fill it up a few times, so we do three, three sittings. Flair cookery for me is um, a few words describing how I cook. Um, it's flared because it's very spontaneous. Uh, where I gain uh, any produce that I have to hand and throw something together which is delicious and, um, and looks good, that's the main thing. The flair part of it is the enjoyment of doing that and um, putting that funk and 
uh, energy into being skilled of just pulling that creation together. Uh, and I claim to be a flair cook because of that very reason. Uh, the secret for me would be to be honest about what um, you know and uh, find a concept that suits that. Um, so there's, it's always every day is the truth of the product. Uh, therefore, the only thing you're relying on is the seasons and um, the, the ground. And I'm very proud to be British in that way. So I think um, to having a truthful product is, is the real key to any success. I think it is, yeah. I think um, all food uh, is generated from the countryside. And uh, the best food and the best ingredients is what has come from the closest countryside and hasn't travelled too far to be here. Um, and I feel that the way that the nature of good food is going uh, is to be more simplistic with menus and um, to create these recipes within season and uh, to have the focus about the product uh, being the amazing thing and just marriaging those flavours and ingredients together. I have a, a basic rule of uh, flavour, texture and colour to every dish um, and I build on that with levels of different flavours and different colours and different textures um, and I keep with that through um, when I teach my chefs how to bring a dish together uh, it's very much so the why is it going to be delicious because of that texture because of the colour the, the visualness of it and the and the temperature of these things that we serve and there's lots of elements to creating a rounded dish but I think uh, the three that I talk of is the flavour, texture and colour.